welcome today to our children's program. What we're going to do is we're going to have a short time of worship, then I'm going to read from the Gospel Story Bible and do a little explanation of what that story means. And then from there, we'll join the adult worship. Story 112, Jesus Promises to Send the Holy Spirit. After Judas left to betray Jesus, Jesus took time to encourage and comfort and teach the friends that he loved. He started by saying, don't let your hearts be troubled and worried. Believe in God and believe in me. Then he talked about heaven, since that was where he was going and where he wanted to take them. In my Father's house, that's what Jesus called heaven, there are many rooms. Jesus said, you can be sure I'm going to prepare a place for you. Someday I will come back and take you there with me so we can be together. You know the way to where I am going. Thomas didn't understand and said, Lord, we don't even know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. When Philip heard Jesus talk about the Father, he spoke up, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. But Jesus said to Philip, do you still not know who I am, even though I have been with you for so long? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. The Father and I are one. He is in me, and I am in him. 
Jesus knew how hard it was for the disciples to understand the things he taught them. So next he made a wonderful promise. I'm going to ask the father and he will send you a helper, the Holy Spirit, who will be with you forever. The Holy Spirit will teach you and help you to remember everything that I have taught you. Jesus continued, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. One disciple asked, how will we know you are with us, Lord? Jesus answered, if anyone loves me, he will obey what I say. My father will love him and we will come and make our home with him. Jesus knew his death was just hours away and he wanted to comfort his disciples and strengthen their faith. He said, I leave my peace with you. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. I have told you what's about to happen ahead of time so that when it does, you can believe and have faith in me. They sang a hymn and then Jesus said, it's time to go. And they left the room to pray on the Mount of Olives. The things Jesus taught his disciples must have sounded confusing. First, Jesus said he was going away, but the Father would send the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus said he wouldn't leave them, but he would come to them. Jesus also said that he and the Father would make their home with the disciples. There is only one way all these things could be true at the same time. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Father are all one and the same God, one God in three distinct persons. We call this the Trinity, and it is hard to understand. On a night when the disciples were afraid and sad, it must have been extra hard for them to understand what Jesus was saying. Jesus said the Holy Spirit is like the wind. Now you can't see the wind, but you can hear its sound. And if you look carefully, you can see this flower being blown very slightly by the slightest breeze. When the disciples were in the upper room and the Holy Spirit came, he came with a mighty rushing wind. The Holy Spirit is invisible. But just like we know that the wind is here when we hear it or see it working, so we know the Holy Spirit is present when we see him working, touching our lives, changing us to be more like Jesus, and filling us with the joy of the Lord. Jesus also said that the Holy Spirit that he would send would be our helper to remind us of all the things that Jesus taught. So the Holy Spirit is also our helper. If I told a car salesman that I was going to buy one of his cars, let's say it was a blue one, but I had to first go home and talk to my wife, I wouldn't be sure if after she agreed we should buy that blue car that it was still available. But if I give the salesperson $100 as a deposit and say, I want to buy that blue car. I've got to talk to my wife, but I'll give you $100 to hold it for me. Well, the salesman is going to hold it and he won't sell that car to anybody else. That's a deposit. It's a guarantee that I'll be able to buy that car. I'm giving it away to the salesman so he holds that car for me. Jesus said the Holy Spirit is our guarantee, our guarantee of heaven our guarantee of living with Jesus forever. He said, I'm going to go away, but I will send another, a helper, the Holy Spirit who will counsel you. And Paul tells us in the epistles that the Holy Spirit that we have in our heart when we trust Jesus is our guarantee and our deposit to prove to us that all that Jesus said is true. We really will, those who trust in Jesus, live forever. What's our guarantee? Well, when you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you and you can sense his presence. You know that he is there. What about you? Do you have the Holy Spirit living in you? Do you believe in Jesus? You can. 
you can turn away from your sin and put your trust in Jesus, then the Holy Spirit, that mysterious wind, will visit you, come and live inside of you, and be your guarantee and deposit of heaven to come. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to join us for our children's service today. I hope you enjoyed the worship and the Bible story. And now we're going to join the adults for the main service.